So in this video, we will now have the multiplication and division of binary numbers. So we will start with binary multiplication. So how do we multiply binary numbers? Say you are given the numbers 1, 0, 1 multiplied by 1, 0. So to multiply binary numbers, just like in normal multiplication, we take the last digit of the multiplier, multiply it to the rest of the digits of the multiplicand. Now, the rule here is if the multiplier is 0, any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So we just copy uh, the number of digits in our multiplicand. So we have 1, 2, and 3. And then we proceed with the next digit of our multiplier. Again, we multiply 1 times 1, or 1. In mathematics, we have a rule that says uh, if 1 is multiplied to a number, the answer is that number. So we have 1 times 101. We have here 101. And then we add. Now, in adding, we, as we also apply here the rules in addition of binary numbers. Since we are working with binary numbers, so we have here 0 bring down 1, 0, bring down 1. So the answer is 1, 0, 1, 0. Again, to check if our um, answer is correct, we convert this 101 again to decimal. So we have, we use again the positional value 1, 2, 4, 8 since we only have uh, 2 and 3 digits. So we put uh, 101 below the positional value so this is 5 why 5 because we only add 1 and 4 and then 1 0 is obviously 2 so we are actually multiplying 5 by 2 so the answer must be 10 so let us check if 1 0 1 0 is equivalent to 10 again we uh, we write it here in our pos below our positional value. We have one zero one zero, so we have the values which has one is two and eight. So we add eight plus two, we got ten. So our answer is correct. Let's have another example of uh, multiplication of binary numbers. Say you are given one one zero one multiplied by 1 1 0 again taking the first the last digit of our multiplier we have 0 times 1 1 0 1 that is 0 0 0 and then we have 1 times 1 1 0 1 that is 1 0 1 1 and then another one we simply rewrite it we simply rewrite the multiply the multiplicand so we have one zero one one and then we add okay so to add we have here zero zero plus one is one zero zero one is one zero one zero is one here we have one plus one according to our rule in binary addition that is zero carry one so we bring down zero Another pair, we have 1 plus 1, that is 0, carry 1. So we bring down 0, then we bring down 1. So the answer is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So don't forget that when you add this part, you apply the rules in binary addition. Let's have one more example of uh, multiplication in binary numbers or binary numbers. So we have one, say for example, you are given one zero, one zero, and then you are asked to multiply it by one zero one. So again, how do we multiply uh, binary numbers? So we take the first, the last digit of, we take the last digit of our multiplier multiply it to our multiplicand so this is one so we just copy one zero one zero and now we go to the second digit since that is zero we simply rewrite zero 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 and then one again we copy our multiplicand which is zero one zero one 
and then we add so to add we have zero one plus zero is one zero 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 is zero we have one plus zero is one plus one this is another pair so we have here zero carry one so we bring down zero we bring down one and then we bring down one so the answer is one one zero zero one zero so now let us proceed to the last operation which is binary division so how do we divide binary numbers say for example you are given the number one zero one divided by one zero okay so to divide binary number we'll be reminded that one zero is equivalent to two now if we have two digits in our divisor we will consider only the first two digits of our dividend so one zero here if you're going to convert this again to decimal this is two okay so we now have two divided by two so we know that there are only one two in two so this is actually one so we put one above zero since we consider the first two digits then we multiply so again in multiplication we apply the rules in multiplication of binary numbers so one multiplied by zero is zero and then one multiplied by one is one and then we subtract again in subtraction we will apply the rules in subtracting binary numbers so we have zero minus zero is zero that is already zero then we bring down one if we don't have any more numbers to uh, after bringing down a number and we cannot multiply we simply add zero to the answer and then we put the last digit as our remainder so we have one zero remainder one now to check we have already converted one zero to two but what is 101 so if we're going to convert 101 in decimal that is five so meaning to say we are actually dividing five divided by we are actually dividing 5 by 2, which brings us 2 times 2, which is 4, 1. So, 2 remainder 1. So, this is the same as our final answer. So, let's have another example of our binary division. Say, for example, you are given 1, 0, 0, 1 divided by 1, 1. So, how do we divide these no binary numbers? Again, we convert our uh, divisor into decimal. So using again our positional value 1, 2, 4, 8. 1, 1 is equivalent to 3. So we put here 3 just to remind us that 1, 1 is 3. Now, if we take the first two digits of our dividend, obviously 1, 0 is 2. We cannot divide. So we take the first three digits. So taking the first three digits, again, we are going to convert. 100 into decimal so what is 100 so according to our positional value 100 is equivalent to 4 so in decimal 100 is 4 so if this is 4 and this is 3 obviously we can now divide so how many 3 are there in 4 we have 1 so we put 1 above uh, the last 0 then you multiply 1 by 1 1 Applying the rules in multiplication, but if if the number is one, we just copy the word, our multiplicand, and then we subtract. So we have here one zero zero minus one one. Applying the rules in binary subtraction, we go to the zero nearest to one. So here, zero will bar one from one. One here will become zero. Zero here will become two. So zero now will bar one from two. 2 here will become 1 and 2 will become and 0 will become 2 then proceed 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 0 so no need to uh, put 0 then we bring down 1 so after bringing down 1 again we convert this to decimal 1 1 is again using this uh, conversion is 3 so obviously there are there's only one 3 in 3 so this is 1 so 1 by 11 is 1 1 this is 0 so our answer is 1 1 now to check if our answer is correct we simply convert 1 0 0 1 so obviously 1 0 0 1 is 9 
So we are actually dividing 9 by 3. So 9 by 3 is 3 times 3, 9 we have 0. So the answer is 3 which is the same as 1, 1. Okay, so let's have another example of division. Say for example, you are given 1, 1, 0, 1 divided by 1, 1. So how do we divide these uh, binary numbers? Again, we start it by converting our divisor to decimal. Again, using our positional value, 1, 2, 4, 8. So we have to place it here and then we add 3. So 1, 1 is 3. Taking the If we have two digits in our divisor, we need to consider also the first two digits. So the first two digits, if you're going to convert this to a decimal, this is 3. So we can divide. So how many 3's are there in 3? We have 1. Then we multiply by 1, 1. We have, of course, 1, 1. Then we subtract. This is 0. We bring down 0. Okay. Now whenever we bring down 0 and we cannot divide, we add 0 to our answer and then we bring down 1 again after bringing down 1 and we cannot divide again we add 0 and then we multiply that is 0 this is 1 so remainder 1 so to check again let us convert 1101 1, this is actually 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 13 and 1, 1 is 3. So we are actually dividing 13 by 3. So this is um, 4 times 3, 12, 1. So we, are, we have 4 remainder 1. So if you're going to check 4 remainder 1, it's the same as 1, 0, 0 remainder 1 since this is 4. Say, for example, you are given the number 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, divided by 1, 0. Okay, so how do, how do we divide these binary numbers? So again, we convert our uh, divisor to decimal using our positional value uh, 1, 0. So we have to put it under... The positional value so this is actually two okay so we have two digits in our divisor if we're going to consider the first two digits of our uh, dividend this is three okay so one one is equivalent to three so if this is three and this is two we can divide so how many twos are there in three we have one okay so we multiply one by one zero we get one zero then we subtract so we have 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, then we bring down 1. So bringing down 1, again, if we're going to convert 1, 1 in, in decimal, that is also equivalent to 3. So if that is 3 in our, and our divisor is 2, therefore we can divide. So how many 2's are there in 3? Again, we have 1. We multiply it again, we have 1, 0 then we subtract so after subtracting again we have one here we bring down zero okay so one zero is two if this is two and our divisor is two we can divide so how many twos are there in two we have one so multiplying again one by one zero that is one zero so this is zero then bring down one now our after bringing down a number and we cannot divide anymore, we add 0 to our answer. And that last digit becomes our remainder. So that is actually 1110 remainder 1. Now let us check if uh, this answer is correct. So again, we convert 11101 so that we, that we have an idea what is this number. So if this is 2, what is this number? So we convert it again to decimal using our positional value. So we use 16 since we have uh, 5 digits. Okay. So we add only all values which is which has 1. So we have 16 plus 8 plus 4 and plus 1. 
So this is 24 plus 4, 28 plus 1, this is actually 29. So if that is 2 and this is 29, we are actually dividing 29 by 2. So we have 1, 2, 9, 4, 8, 1. So the answer is uh, 14 remainder 1 in decimal. So let us check if our answer is correct. So if you're going to convert 1110, that is actually, uh, if you're going to use the positional value 1, 2, 4, 8. So we add 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 8, 14. So this is actually uh, 14 and then we have remainder 1. So our answer is correct.